Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So this has been an absolutely wild ride for the market. Probably not the, the forex exchange, forex exchange, uh, for an exchange market, but for the indices, for, for the cryptocurrency market, and so on, it has been an absolutely wild ride. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we continue to uh, grind higher here in the US dollar, uh, yeah, Great British Pound and US dollar. We're trading at 14, 11, 16. We are still getting very, we're still very overstretched here, uh, basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are also at the 78 here in the RSI. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish at this point. However, to buy it at this level here is very risky. Pull back towards the 20 exponential should be um, should be should be supportive and a possible buying at this day at that stage. Break below the 20 opens the door to the 40 and the 50, and that's even better buying opportunity. So let's look at the US dollar yen, and as you can see, uh, 300 moving average is massive resistant here. We did. Um, breakdown and then rallied at the end of the session. If you look at technical indicators, they are actually all over the place. Stochastic is bullish, the MACD is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and yes, we are technically all over the place. It's technically a, a, um, a currency pair that you just stay away from at this point. If we break above the 300 moving average, then we can go higher. Uh, break below these moving averages here opens the door to these previous lows. Otherwise, we're just going to see a lot of choppiness here and uh, nearly hopeless to trade. So let's look at the uh, euro US dollar. We did rally about um, 50 moving average and then broke down and then we settled right at the 50 moving average at 12, 14, 58. We are at the top of the Bollinger Band, so it's expected for this to drop towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. Uh, roughly at uh, at 12 or 9. Uh, technical indicators are turning around, so it's fairly likely that we'll continue lower before we go higher for this uh, currency pair. 100 moving average offers support. The same goes for the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average. If we were to drop all the way down to the 150, then that should be massive support. Break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous highs, but the 50, we're basically stuck there at this point. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have broken down and then rallied a little bit. It is it is expected for this to turn around towards at least the 20 exponential, roughly 0 0.77. If that breaks, then we have that 50 moving average right underneath, um, which is just around 0.7% underneath that. So yeah. Probably the 20 exponential will be as far as it'll go. It will basically be the right here in the middle of the bullish band, and then we will continue higher towards 0 0.80. Technical indicators are turning around. We're significantly overbought, overstretched, so a pullback is expected before going higher. US dollar, Canadian dollar, we did rally significantly, and then we broke down again. Uh, we are we are still in the green. We're 0 0.05, but. Uh, pullbacks towards uh, rallies towards the 20 or the 50 moving average that is your selling opportunity we are in the downtrend and actually every rally up towards the 50 is a possible buying opportunity or it probably won't go in um, to 50 will only go to 20 which is around the middle of the bullish band here taking indicators are uh, very bearish we are significantly oversold so Expect a rally from here, similar to what we have seen today. Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel, channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.